Hey everyone, Zach here, and welcome to lesson 85 of this RTS tutorial series. In this video, we'll use our unit's job satisfaction and happiness to determine the unit's loyalty, and if we'll take commands from the player, or if we'll automatically do what it sees fit. I'd like to apologize for the delay on these videos. I'm starting a new job, which is eating up a lot of my time, and is going to cause me to be a bit slow this month of December. That said, also towards the end of the month, given all the holidays and New Year's and all of that, some of the videos might be postponed until early January. But all that said, fire up your editor and let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to the editor. I know I said in the previous video, what we would do is implement a new branch or behavior tree, if I can move over, somewhere in this area. Instead, what we're going to do is we are going to set up a service that will take care of that. And instead of actually, let me pop that back open, having a branch here, we're going to create a decorator in the next episode that will go here that will control when we have our trees selected. And by trees, I mean our individual unit task trees. So to set that up, the first thing we need to do is we need to add some new statuses to our enum. So let's go to our enum folder and go to our unit status enum. Let's add two more in. And these enums will be is doing work and is unloyal. And we'll come back and actually do some more stuff with these on loyal later on. And I'll point out where we'll do that. The next thing we want to do is go back to our AI folder, go to our services, and then go to our unit status, which has been changed because we've updated our enum there. And actually, before we even do this, let's go to our unit master and let's set some stuff up in there. We're going to add in a new variable, which will actually pass through our get unit status. So it's fortunate this is open for me already which will be called loyalty tolerance. And this will be of type float. And I'm gonna just put it in the category status or stats. And just grab it, get it, pass it out here. And now let's set this variable. Let's go to our, I don't know why I'm using my graph here to do this. I could just find it in here, but meh. Go to our unit features, and we're going to do it the same way we did our resilience. We're just going to move everything along a bit. And then we're going to break that, set our loyalty tolerance there, plug the set into the branch, and then pull off of this, do a random float in range. And our range will be 0 to 0.25. So when we drop into whatever this range is, the unit will have issues related to loyalty or listening to commands. So this is what we're going to use to check our loyalty in based on our unit happiness and our job satisfaction. So go back to our unit status. And in here, we're going to create a new function. And this function will be our check loyalty level. So check loyalty level and we're going to need to get our unit reference from this we will get our status so get unit stats and we're going to create three local variables so the first one we're going to create will be our happiness level so we'll do happiness local go ahead and set that into your input pin there we will do our job satisfaction, which I'll just name job set local. And then we will do our loyalty tolerance. So we're going to check, are our units satisfied with their jobs? Are they happy? And do we violate or do we fall under the threshold for our loyalty tolerance? So this will be tolerance local. All right, go ahead and plug that into there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our first check. 
And again, we're gonna come back and probably change this up once we get into the next section of this tutorial, which will be on our enemy AI. We might have a unit defect to our enemy if they are not happy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our happiness local and we are going to add it to our job satisfaction local. If these two things together are less than our tolerance, then our unit is gonna become disobedient. So we'll do a less than, and what needs to be less than is our tolerance level. So that's all that that's doing is are we checking, are these two things when added together less than our tolerance? Now, that isn't the only condition we're gonna have. So I'm gonna use an or Boolean. And the other condition I wanna know is, is our happiness overall less than our tolerance? So it can be either case. And this will be a float is less than float. So is our happiness less than our tolerance level? If either of these are true, and again, we are gonna come back and probably change this up a bit, then we are going to remove our ability to command our unit. So we're gonna get a unit reference and we'll set allow player input. We'll leave it as false. So we're no longer allowing player input. I'm just gonna drag this up here, put a nice little reroute in. So if our unit is not happy and not satisfied with their job, then we will remove their ability. Or if they're just really unhappy, we'll remove our ability to control the unit. We're then gonna get our enum and we're gonna set our unit status to is unloyal. And we need to get our enum key selector, so get your status. And we are going to set as blackboard enum or set blackboard as enum, not blackboard. I got the as in the wrong spot in that sentence. Plug a couple of reroutes in just so it's a little bit prettier and easier to read. All right, with that in place, that finishes out the true branch. So if we've really pissed off our unit, they'll become unloyal. And in fact, we might again, as I said, actually not might, we will come back and change this up when we get into their section where they can possibly defect. Next, if this is false, we're gonna have a branch here and we wanna know is their job satisfaction less than their tolerance? So we'll plug that in and we'll grab our job set local. If their job satisfaction is less than their tolerance, then they're just gonna say, screw it, I'm gonna do my own job. So instead of having the ability to command them removed, all we're gonna do is grab all of this and they're gonna try to find something to do so they're not bored and unhappy. And instead of being is unloyal, we'll do is doing work. And then we're gonna have one more branch down here. And this is kind of our cleanup branch. So what we wanna do is if they're unloyal, so grab your status, you wanna get it. We wanna know, is this equal to unloyal? So if they're unloyal right now for some reason and they haven't defected, again, when we get into the later section, and the current happiness is equal to or greater than double our tolerance level. So just like our fear status, when we did our fear, when they had, um, we had to check if they're no longer afraid, it had to be double the resilience level. We're gonna get our tolerance local and we're gonna do float times float. And we're just gonna multiply it by two. So double the base level. So if they are unloyal and their happiness is resumed being at least double their tolerance level, then what we'll do is we'll return control and we'll set them to idle. So we're gonna grab this entire branch, paste it down here, and we'll re-allow re -allow player input and we'll set them to is idle. And then if it's false, then we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna do a return node here because nothing is gonna happen. Now you notice I haven't put in a bool value in this return node potentially like we have with our other ones outside the check fear levels. We've done the fatigue, we've done... I have fatigue levels in here twice. 
Um, okay, I can't believe I made that mistake. So, this one should be hunger. I'm not sure why I put fatigue levels in here twice. Just want to make sure that actually is fatigue. It is. So, go ahead and delete that. I'm sorry about that. Plug that into the false instead. What we're going to do is we're going to grab off of this, put a branch in. But as I was saying, you notice I didn't have that bool value at the end. And the reason why we're doing that is because this check will happen at the very end. And if they're unloyal, but haven't defected, they're still gonna do their jobs. They're still going to want to sleep and eat at certain points. So this is going to kick into place and they will just instead continue to be unloyal. They'll go to sleep, they'll eat as needed, and then they'll go do their job, but they won't take commands into the player. So we're gonna put an or in here, just like we did before, so over here. And we want to know if they are fatigued. So we'll grab our check fatigued or is fatigued. I'll just duplicate this, paste that here into there. And then if they are not, we will check our loyalty levels. So again, remember, because if they aren't loyal, they won't have any control. It doesn't matter we're changing the status. They're just going to be on their pure AI if they're unloyal at this point. Only if their happiness is double their tolerance level will we regain control of the unit. So we can go ahead and test this out. To do that, go to your unit master. I believe in the previous video we set all these back up. We did. So let's set our happiness level to zero and our job satisfaction level to zero. If we compile and hit play... Let's go find that unit. You'll notice we no longer are able to give it commands. We can select it, but we can't give it any commands. So there we go. Let's set this to 0.5 again and our happiness to 0.5. So that's our default value. So we, at least we can control our units when they come out. And regardless of what their resilience is, if we look at this little, uh, that's the wrong thing. If we look at the math here with 0.5 plus 0.5 at the very start, that will never be less than their tolerance level. So we won't have a unit spawn in or get created in our training post that won't be loyal. So that sets up what we need to do in today's video. Moving forward, what we're going to start doing is we'll start working on the behavior trees for our individual unit types and then so to start that up, what we'll do first, not sure where that rifle is just floating there. That is strange. Um, all right, so I'll try to resolve that before the next video. What we're going to be doing is setting up the decorator that I mentioned earlier in our behavior tree, and then we will go on, and after we know that they are either doing a job or are not loyal, they will go and do their individual behavior trees. So infantry units will patrol and attack targets. Engineers will repair. Support units will go try to support things and heal people. Our harvester units will go harvest things. And that will take us through everything we need to do in this section before we get into our enemy AI and start dealing with how our enemy are going to build buildings and take care of their units. All right, all of that said, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help this channel out. And if you want to help this channel out further, consider becoming a supporter on Patreon. And if you want to know when that next tutorial is out, make sure to hit that subscribe and notify icon so you can be here when that video is released. All right, that said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.